But these pilots may be among the last to be trained to fly it. After spending a month in the simulator and learning the basic operations of the aircraft, pilots begin flying training missions in the A-10. Captain Lindsay Mad Johnson has five years of experience flying the A-10. Today, she's training for a new role to be a pilot on an A-10 demo team where she will highlight the capabilities of the Warthog. I am about two hours shy of 1,200 hours in the, in the A-10 itself. They call it like a crawl, rock, run uh, process. So I did it in the sim multiple times. Then we go out to the airspace for my first time with a floor, not actual floor, but a simulated floor of 5,000 feet AGL. And then I go here, 2,000 feet AGL, 1,000 feet AGL, and then 500 feet AGL until I got through my first certification. After Johnson completed a few rolls and dives, she moved on to simulating a strafe, which is an attack on enemy ground forces, a technique used in close air support operations. So when we do close air support, we are egressing, as they say it, from uh, in front of the target area. I'm going out about you know two, two and a half miles away at about 500 feet, and then I'm turning back around this way. And as I'm about just outside of a mile, I'll pop to about 30 degrees nose high, which allows me to get high enough to be able to see there is what would be designated as the friendlies and what would be designated as the enemy on the ground. And then as I visually acquire that out over my canopy rail, I'm then rolling in using both ailerons. My throttles are already in max. I'm rolling in and then I'm putting basically my nose position down on what we consider to be like a 20 degree wire. So rather than flying straight and level, I'm 20 degrees nose low towards the ground. I learned about the A-10 growing up. I knew I wanted to do something kind of to pay homage to, to my dad's time in service. I was young when September 11th happened. I was nine and he deployed two months after September 11th happened. That kind of stuck with me and I knew I wanted to do something that was gonna give back to my country as well. Newly certified A-10 pilots will begin their career. While everybody knows us for the gun, and its capabilities. A thing that we take most pride in as an A-10 community is protecting the lives of the men and women that are on the ground. 